to relitigate the past. I just don't want to relive the past. I don't want to go through that mess again. That's the philosophy the other side wants to bring to Washington and wants to bring to Annapolis if they win in November. That's the philosophy that Martin's opponent espouses. Republicans might have given it a new name. They called it the Pledge to America. But it's the same old snake oil they've been peddling for years. Same old stuff. Same old stuff. <laughs> now, now, I, I want everybody to take a look at this pledge to America. It's interesting. They, they put it out with great fanfare, but now nobody's really talking about it. But let's, let's examine their pledge. For starters, it turns out the pledge was actually written in part by a former lobbyist for AIG and Exxon Mobil. Uh, you, you can't make this stuff up. All right, so, they make, so they helped write this thing. The centerpiece of the pledge, their big idea, is a $700 billion tax cut for the wealthiest 